Here at the University of West London, we provide industry standard facilities, great industry links and excellent employment opportunities so that our students can go on to have successful and rewarding careers. We've invested more than £150 million in our campus recently to create an inspiring social and learning environment for our students. Recently, the university declared a climate emergency and pledged to become a zero net carbon institution by 2030. A big step to meeting this pledge has been our decarbonisation programme that has seen the university harness the latest renewable technology to create our own energy and introduced energy saving measures across the campus. Sure, so one of the main uh, issues that we had was not only was the university open, but the actual university is very, very close by to a residential area, namely a road called the park. So that road is quite narrow and it has houses all the way along it and all the parking is either directly on the driveway, so we couldn't block anyone in, obviously, or the car parks which are available are strictly for the residents, which meant that we could not use them for storage, we could not set up or use any delivery kind of set down location. So it meant we had a very narrow road and we had huge vehicles coming in to bring in the drilling compound, the drilling rigs, um, heavy pieces of equipment, as well as our general day-to-day -day, uh, gear as well, that the guys were coming in their vans and everything. So it meant the university gave us a very tight window to make our deliveries to make sure people who are going to work were not impacted by us um, and at the same time you had students coming in and you also had the staff coming back to the university post-covid and because there was a one-way system it meant that everyone was using the same entrance via park um, so it just meant that we had to be extra vigilant we had myself our construction manager on site pretty much every single day to make sure that we were able to coordinate our deliveries and make sure that nobody was in danger of basically the heavy piece of equipment being transported around. After the ground source heat pump approach was identified, Amoresco and our subcontractors came up with an estimate of 70 boreholes. In order to drill these boreholes, which had to have an 8 meter gap between each, Amoresco came up with a borehole layout that included drilling through the main car park of the campus. For health and safety reasons, utilizing the main car park of the campus for the borehole array meant that the area was unavailable for students and staff for two to three months. This created a high impact on regular users of the university. Following conversations with the university project team, Amoresco decided to avoid the car park drilling process by implementing a secondary heat source via solar PVT panels. These PVT panels, which produce electricity and heat for the heat pump to operate, allowed us to reduce the number of boreholes across the campus and leave the main car park of the university untouched. A big thank you to, to the UWL team for working with us, being patient with us, um, and we've delivered the, the biggest PVT and ground source heat pump system in the world here. So it's, it's a big task that we managed to get over, get over the line and, and it's working well, and the system is working well.